Hey guys, so today I am showing you how to make some easy DIY room decor and this is all the stuff that I did to my own room when I just redid it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is glitter canvas art and it is like ridiculously easy. You're just going to need like a color that you're trying to be like inspired by or you could just kind of guess if you want. Also some acrylic paint. I got these at Michael's for like a dollar each and they're super super easy to work with. I'm using some black and some shades of purple but you can use whatever you want. Also some Mod Podge and a clear coat to make sure that the glitter stays on so you can use that if you want. And also some glitter if you choose to use glitter. And you're going to need some canvases obviously. I'm just using some old ones that I had that I just wanted to paint over and you just want to like spread out some garbage bags or like a tarp or something I don't know if you keep a tarp at your house but then um, just kind of lay it down to prevent anything from getting on the tile or wherever you're doing it and then I'm just mixing the paint together with a paintbrush and you can see I'm trying to get that darkest color there I got pretty close and I'm just going to paint right on top of the canvases and then after that I'm just gonna let it dry and do a second coat you, me, cause in your so after I painted them, then I'm going to take some painter's tape, and this is optional. You can do whatever the heck you want. I chose to do horizontal stripes, and I'm just putting the tape down, and that's just going to kind of create a barrier between um, the glitter and the paint. And then I'm going to put on some Mod Podge, and just paint that on with a paintbrush. Ooh, I love you. Ooh, I love you. Yeah, it's a good excuse, but I love to you. So after the Mod Podge, I'm just putting on my glitter and I'm putting it on pretty liberally, you can see. But I have the plastic underneath to catch any of the excess that I'm just going to dump off after. And that'll catch it all and I can put it all back into the container. And then I'm just going to take the paint off and you can see that they left really nice clean lines. And I think it's so, so cute. Kisses all the time, be mine, be mine. Then to ensure that the glitter stays on, I'm just spraying it with that clear top coat. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's just a nice like reassurance that it's not going to come off. So next are some lampshades. This is literally the easiest one. All you need is some fabric paint and a paintbrush. I chose to use black, which is called Beetle Black, and purple called Purple Martin. These are from the Martha Stewart line. And I literally just paint on fabric paint onto my lampshades. It's so, so easy. I couldn't find the exact purple shade that I wanted, so I decided to make my own. The only problem is that I'm not really sure if these are heat protectant or not. So I sprayed it after with a heat protectant spray, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just be very, very careful when you light them up. Make sure not to keep them on for a really long time. But I really liked how they turned out. You can see that it does have kind of like a little white cast like from the brush strokes. But I think it actually looks good because I have white furniture. But also I found some purple lampshades at Ikea about last week. So that kind of sucks. But these were easy and I just redid ones that I already had. So this next decoration I actually use quite often. And it's super easy as with all the other ones as I keep saying. But I'm just going to grab my candle and show you how I put it into my little glitter thing that I made. But all you're going to need is just some glitter and some Mod Podge. And then again, if you want to make sure that the glitter stays on, you can spray it. All these, like, what are they called? Like, not ingredients, but tools? I don't even know. Products? Whatever. Um, they're all just, I'm using them all for the same projects. But I'm just going to take some Mod Podge on a brush and just brush the inside of the glass. Very liberally, make sure that it's somewhat clean, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Because all we're going to do after that is just put some glitter inside and make sure that it's covering all the sides. I'm gonna paint you by numbers. After I pour the glitter in, I'm just going to kind of dump all the excess out and just kind of spin it around to make sure that it gets all the sides. And you just want all that Mod Podge to be covered with glitter so that it's extra pretty. And it's so hard to say it, but I've been here before. And then you can spray it again at the end if you want the glitter to stay. Here you can see that I've done this to all my brush holders already and my brushes are disgusting. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't wash them. Next are Christmas lights and I love hanging Christmas lights in my room. And I got a lot of questions on my other room tours about how I hang them up so I just wanted to show you guys. But I just kind of put tacks in the wall for here. On this large mirror I just put two on each side, or I guess one on each side, two in total. And I just kind of hang them up and that's literally it. And around here I just kind of 
wrapped them around the bed post. It's literally the easiest thing, but I just think they add a lot of pizzazz to just normal furniture. And also floral decorations. I love fake flowers because they're so easy, and I had these pink hydrangeas, but they didn't really match the room, so I just exchanged those with some really pretty dark purple ones that I stole from my dad's room. <laughs> Here I already had these little picture frames that I've used before and I just repainted them with that dark purple color to match the rest of my room. And this is basically it, just the whole vanity section and then my bed. And thank you so much for watching, I hope that this helped you guys out. Have a great day, bye!